Hello, this is Jim in Waco, WB50XQ is my amateur call. I picked up this radio on eBay a few years ago and it's just been sitting in a back room unused. Now this is not an antique radio, this is one of those replicas that's uh, made of particle board and plastic. It looks like a replica of an old Philco. Uh, which is similar to a, an old radio we had that uh, my parents bought back in 1948. Anyway, uh, this old radio is, it works pretty good, it looks pretty good, but yes, it's uh, contact paper covered to particle board and plastic. Uh, it's the only uh, replica radio that, that I've ever thought was any good. Uh, and it does play pretty well, surprisingly, considering the cheap electronics. Uh, but instead of, uh, like many of the little reproduction radios that only have maybe a little 4-inch speaker in it, this thing actually has three speakers. It's got a, an 8-inch bass speaker, and it looks like about a 5-inch uh, solid back mid-range and about a 3-inch solid back tweeter with an actual little uh, uh, RC crossover network on the circuit board. So, uh, without further ado, I'll show you the, uh, the label on the thing. And a close-up of the, the face on it. It's got off on volume, bass, tuning, treble, and selector. And it does have the cassette player in it. Let's turn it on and take a listen to it. I'm going to set the camera down here on the kitchen table and uh, you can see in here put something under the camera since I don't have it on the tripod I'll just put a, a cassette tape under the thing and I'm gonna play a cassette tape on it here in a minute we're gonna start out on the AM broadcast band I'm gonna go down to the bottom the reception is pretty amazing for having a small loop stick in it. The dial does light up. Let's turn it on here. Give it a little volume here. Let's see. That says AM. Let's see if we can find some stations. Starting at the bottom of the broadcast band. There's not many stations in this area down there. There's a Dallas AM station here. Look, all these statistics, all these numbers, all these primes, all of this. Designed to reduce. June 20th in the Money Matters Building in Plano. 7 p.m. Thursday, June 25th, Hilton Garden Inn Alliance Airport. Or 7 p.m. Tuesday, June 30th at Hilton Garden Inn Denton. It's really important that you make your reservation now at moneymatters.net. That's, Money That's going to be 820, a 50 kilowatt station out of Dallas. Again, 8994-0302. Learn to grow your retirement portfolio while protecting it from the next stock market crash. Transmitter's about 100 miles away, but it's a 50 kW station. It pretty much reaches coast to coast, especially at night. ...and Kiplinger's and Forbes, clients that followed his advice. This Dallas center field, Pilar, long run coming in, gets there to make the catch. There's KRLD, Dallas, 1080. Pilar can cover a lot of ground in center field. <laughs> How God works. All right, here's the deal. We have the Worldwide Developers Conference this coming. Gun permit. She's legal. She's honest. She's law abiding. She's going to do it right. She applies for the permit. There's she one of the local AM stations. Bear in mind, I'm in Waco. I'm about time, months, and 90 months miles south of the Dallas Fort Worth area to and about 100, 100 miles north of Austin. In New Jersey. Guy breaks in. He's a convicted felon. It's to clear out Dollar Weed and Cover while it feeds. 
on Talk Radio 1370. Want to talk to Phil? Call 512-271-2202. That's Phil Capriati at 512-271-2202. Or whiteboardradio.com. Longevity has got a lot... Very bad, They don't make any money. They're working all these jobs, to your point, Coach. They're having to encoast... It's food by using scores. The official lawn care company of Major League Baseball. So go on. Go yard this weekend with Scott. And see... Okay, that's the top end of the AM band. Let's switch over to FM. Now, bear in mind, most inexpensive receivers have a lot of difficulty where I'm located because 300 yards away... There's a 100 KWERP FM station on 95.7, and it causes a lot of selectivity problems on inexpensive receivers, and this one is no exception. I have some high-end radios that can tolerate the overload, but this one won't. So it'll pick up that station in more than one place. But the sound quality is pretty good on this radio. Try to turn the bass down. Loving can hurt. I need to spray the controls a little bit, the bass can knock got a little bit of scratchiness in it. This radio has set up for years. Kansas City, no score between the Rangers and the Rangers. On their way to the police station, Brad and Kathy decided to take a shortcut to the high school. I can't. I live with that man. Oh, yeah. Coming up next, Heisberg. Go over this 15 year old. They approached the deal cautiously, saying, Okay, we'll release one of your songs. Wait a minute, it's gotta be a minute. Alright, we got more of the good stuff on the way. Before, people started asking, Why hasn't that girl? When she was only 12, a risk that is paid off. That's a risk. That's the bottom of the band. Let's try a tape in it. See what it sounds like if we try to play a cassette tape. Let's see. The one I was going to play is under the camera, so. I'll switch it. Okay. This says uh, Vern Goss did it. It's not stereo, it's Monaro, but it does have awfully good sound quality for a cheaply made radio. Maybe we should go Bass. We could the ones we use. Trip. That just about does it. Don't you? Okay. That's the 
the story behind this radio. Most of these things are junk and that one's made out of some pretty cheap material but the sound quality says it's a keeper. Now I'm going to turn it around so you can see what's in the back of it. And here comes Abby, my Dalmatian. Move this here so I can turn it around. The thing's actually kind of heavy. Got a lot of thick particle board in it. Okay. There's the little solid state radio chassis. And there's the the closed back tweeter and the closed back mid range and the 8 inch bass speaker. So surprisingly, they did try to make it have pretty decent sound. Turn it back around. I think I paid $50 for this radio, knowing it was a replica, but uh, thinking I'd take a chance on it, and I've not been disappointed in this one. I bought others that were total pieces of junk, but this one at least has a decent sound quality. Well, that's the end for this. Thanks for watching. This is Jim in Waco, Amateur Call, WB50XQ.